Happy Monday, friends. Uh, Tisha here. So I am sitting outside the school about to go in and kind of show you what we've done. Uh, the last update, I don't think I filmed. <clears throat> we haven't been in since Wednesday. When we came in on Wednesday, we just came in to set the borders up on the um, boards. But today, the plan is to get everything out of boxes and onto tables so I can go ahead and start putting that stuff up, as well as set up my desk area as my filing cabinets are done and ready to go. I wanted to show you my first teacher-related battle wound. I guess it would be teacher-related. I don't know if you can see it, but I got a huge goose egg right here. I got scratches on the side of my body. Let's see. Oh, there you go. You can see it. It's ugly. So what happened was, don't mind all my craziness. I'm breaking out. Um... What happened was, is I was in my bed and I woke up in a panic realizing that I had to decorate the board that's outside my classroom and I still have like two weeks left. So I shouldn't have been panicking, but me being who I am, I started panicking and I didn't have an idea. So it really just drove me crazy. So <clears throat> I started reaching out beside me looking for my phone and I didn't find it. But when I was reaching out, you know, to both sides of me, I felt like a lot of bed space. So I figured I was in the middle of my king size bed and I wasn't I was I guess towards the end uh, obviously because I rolled over and I was going to reach over on the nightstand just to grab my phone real quick like I've done in the past and when I rolled over I fell on the floor and my king size bed is up like really high that I need a stool just to climb in bed I mean and I'm 5'1 but I needed a stool I need a stool just to climb in bed and yeah that's how high I fell down I fell pretty high and caught the edge of the um of the um ow that hurt uh, the edge of the nightstand and yeah so it's real beautiful right um and i'm nervous because wednesday i have a district-wide conference because i'm going to be presenting to all the kindergarten teachers in my district and uh so yeah i'm gonna really make an impression here so anyways i'm about to go in and i'll show you what we have so far what's going on and the state of my classroom and then um if i get anything in the middle of the day i'll show you but i'll definitely show you at the end of the day of day what four three and a half of being in the classroom see you in a little bit all right we're wrapping up day one just going to show you some of the things i've done so we got my filing cabinets in and i organized my desk drawer hung up some things got still got a lot of work to do but I'm making some progress got my rules up those are really really cute I did these my first year I think from kindergarten craze I got that idea from her <clears throat> um, unloaded boxes like I wanted to do didn't get everything put up but did unload so there's a lot of stuff on the table more um, decorating things up there I got my word wall hung up you can't see that because we cleared out those two cabinets so I'm gonna um, <clears throat> update those cabinets tomorrow this one's gonna be my math cabinet my science cabinet and my ELA cabinet so I'm gonna put all my stuff in there everything on that table is what the school gave so I'm gonna find out if I need it and if I don't then I'll put it in another cabinet just for um, what belongs for the school so I made pretty good dent on the boxes I still got more to take home didn't do much over here and then got my own this is the only thing in the room that has a lock on it so this is my own personal stuff so I'm going to show you how I've organized that <clears throat> and I'm going to take those labels off and put other labels on and then just put like my cardstock paper in here my colored paper anything that's personal and that I've spent a lot of money on I'm going to put that there so yep that's it I'm going to give you last pan around and we're going to come in tomorrow and again I'm going to fill those uh, those cabinets up there and get rid of more boxes I know it looks kind of crazy right now but I like to get everything out in the open and then um, organize that way so see y'all tomorrow hey guys it's been a minute since I recorded so I kind of wanted to show you the progress that we're making I don't know if I've shown you the word wall let me think what else we did the letters on the cabinets posted my rules over there so not too many changes but what I'm focusing on now is right behind the word wall this is going to be and I've already organized this it was um, just a lot of stuff in there but I went ahead and organized it with my things and some of the things from the school so this is going to be my math cabinet where I keep my manipulatives and math games 
So that's what it looks like on the outside. This is gonna be my science cabinet. So down below are my science materials. And then some, I think those are, yeah, ELA games because I'm running out of space. And then the one over here is my ELA cabinet with my resources that I need and some things up top. Then I'm gonna show you my current thing. So here's gonna be my art cabinet. So right now it's pretty empty and on the outside just has my um, pictures of the color, the different colors. So I'm organizing down below and up top. So hopefully I will get to show you uh, the progress we're making. Sorry, I'm shaky. It is so hot in here. We have no air condition, so I'm running these fans like crazy. But I'll give you a pan around, kind of show you what I'm doing. My hope today is just to get the rest of these cabinets complete. And tomorrow I hope to be, really hope to be almost done here. Um, the problem is, is that I cannot put anything on the walls because we're going to be getting some paint and then our floors are going to get done and so I have a lot of what I feel is empty space and things I could really do to uh, add just some more color and things. I'm not sure what I'm going to do over here yet um, but anyways I could do just a lot of stuff over there but um, I can't do anything about that so I don't know where most of this stuff's going to go but I'll figure it out and I'll show you what I have. Oh I want to show you this. So back behind here is the nearest plug for me to plug in my lights and this is a great thing that I got at uh, the container store a couple years ago but the problem is is that when I go to plug it in I'd have to move it and so something really light would have to be there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that and put one of my carts on wheels that I painted a couple years ago I have a couple of them I'm going to put one of those over here so I can just move it easily and then over here is what I used uh, for what would normally be on this will be over here. So that's a better use of space, I think. Um, what I'll do just to continue to stay organized is I'll put a picture of the different things that go in these spots so the kids know where those items go and how to organize that. So, yep, that's it. I'll show you what I've got done here in a minute. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a quick update on my classroom and what's going on. Um, today is Wednesday. I had a training today, but I went in for a little bit after work um, just to get some things done. I um, got a little bit more cleared off the tables and got my art cabinet squared away, or at least somewhat squared away. I wanted to show you what's my eye. Remember how I showed you I hit it? Like, oh, it looks worse than it feels. It really doesn't feel that bad. I'm going to put my glasses on, so it covers it a little bit better. Um, oh, actually not because you can see the reflection. Okay. So I don't technically go back to work until next Wednesday is when I have my first in-service day. And then that next Tuesday is when they have um, kindergarten roundup and drop off supplies. So I have a little bit more time to get my room completely done, but I wanna get completely done, at least with the, um, the presence of the room by tomorrow. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it, but I hope to because I'm not gonna go into the classroom on Friday and then the next Tuesday, um, I'm just gonna go tomorrow, which is Thursday, then Monday, and then full-time Wednesday and then uh, in service for the next week and a half. Um, but I wanna get as much done as I can now and I know it looks like a mess and it's taken a long time, but um, I'm gonna be there for a while, so I wanna make sure that I get as much uh, organized now as I can because once the kids get there, that's just not gonna happen. So that's what I'm doing. That's why it's taking so long, but just wanted to give you a quick update. I'll go in tomorrow. I'll show you the before of what I've done, which isn't a lot since the last clip I showed you. And then hopefully the next clip I'll show you will be everything be done and up. And um, hopefully my first bulletin be board be posted because that was the whole reason for this. So um, I'll check back in with you tomorrow. Bye. Happy Thursday, friends. I forgot to show you the progress I made yesterday. These are my art cabinets. So I organized them, made some room for the supplies the kids will bring. So today's, like I said, Thursday. So my focus is to get everything off the tables and off the shelves. I get everything put away um, and get rid of whatever I'm not going to keep. Um, so that's the big goal today, but right now what I'm about to focus on 
is this over here. This is my teacher's cabinet. This is, like I said in a previous video, that this is the only uh, storage that's locked. So I'm going to keep all of the stuff that I spent a lot of money in on or that is very personal to me or important to me. I'm going to keep it there. So I'll show you what we do there. I also brought in my files to put in my filing cabinet. It didn't make it to the binders this year, maybe next year. So that's what I have going on. I will check back in with you in a little bit. Okay, we met our goal. Oh, never mind. All right, we met our goal. All, well, mostly all things are off the table. Just a couple of things that we're doing, some finish, finishings here. I wanted to show you my big project. Let me open it up. This was my personal cabinet. Okay. Oh, sorry. I know I made you dizzy. Kind of looks messy. Looks probably a lot messy, but um, all of my important things are in there. I need to do a couple more labels, some love notes from my kids, some pictures of my family, friends, and kids. Uh, let's see, what else did we do here? Oh, I hung up all of my accomplishments. I'm still working on getting my desk organized. It's pretty much done. It's just a couple of things that were on top. Um, picture of me and Ron Clark. That was an awesome experience. Let's see. Put up my binders. So I'm not going to start off with these 10 stations plus the one right here. Those are for our ELL kids. Um, but I went ahead and put it up for spacing just to see how we're doing there. Um, I usually run a 10 station rotation once school gets in full swing. And then this is the bin that correlates to it. The station stays the exact same. The only thing that changes is the product that's in it, but the idea stays the same. There's nothing that changed over here. What we are going to do when we come back Monday is we're going to lower this um, table and put these at it but because right now putting it there the kids would basically be eating the table and obviously we don't want that so then we have this going on here I want to hang that sign but because I can't put nails in the wall I'm just gonna have to leave it there um, so we organized that this over here okay so that's my fridge and freezer and this holds like my snacks my plates my bowls anything I need um, I don't have a filing cabinet just for me, so I'm going to um, file some of my personal things there. Organized different games here. Now, I do a fun Friday activity where the kids can um, just play and be five-year-olds because they're not given that chance any other time. So I have some different games that are back on this back corner here. Um, these bins will be put out on the table hopefully Monday. Um, so this cart, I'm going to move it. But that cart is where they're going to put their folders in. And then on the bottom here, I'm just going to put the important things from the school that I'll have to place in the folders. Okay, so my leveled readers back here. Um, so this is going to be my math, guided math area, and my guided reading. And I'll put all my resources in there. And then I just have... Y'all, I'm not a professional at this, so I'm really shaky. So I just have my bin that stays out um, for my uh, pins and things and then in here I just have it organized for what I would need for guided reading just the stretchers the play-doh different things Let's see some of that and then my report card testing resources so there's that let me see what else nothing changed in home living we did get this organized over here I don't know if I showed you so I'm gonna go ahead and show you again Oh, you're going to get dizzy again. But my art cabinet, pretty much organized. Oh, and the labels, that happened. To, oh, where's my finger? There it is. The labels. We put the labels out there so that while I'm sitting at my table, I can know what is in each cabinet. Last one. Okay. So then right here, because I can't put anything on the wall, I can't hang my writing center. So this is where... My writing center will go, and on Monday I'll hang all those things. And the writing stuff that I use is from Dee Dee Wills. I think that's how you say her name. So and this will be the writing table. This is what I call an island. So when my student or students are not able to sit with friends and be nice, they go to the island. So I only have one right now. Hopefully I don't need any more. So the opposite of the island is Vacation Island, and that's this right here. And we're going to lower this desk to make it... Um, 
equivalent to the other and then they're going to be by me so that's a privilege well for most kids anyways um organized this i need to make a couple more labels here um so the ones that don't have any sticky notes on it they're empty which is great because my math manipulatives are busting at the seam so if i can move some of these into here or some of the supplies that they use on a normal basis like um uh, glue and pencils and things if I can move that over there that would save some time so there's that my reading hasn't come together yet I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that I have reading books but I don't like them to use the books that I read to them so I've already put my leveled readers up so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do just yet so in this basket just holds the materials that I need for a calendar and then some more things here and then here's my calendar and then we come over here do the clip chart now I don't really do the clip chart but it's something that is school-wide I usually use dojo but that's gonna have to happen so we were gonna take these cards and put them there but the thing is we don't have wheels for them and you can see we spray painted it and it's starting to chip so I rather just go with this than go with that um, and usually what those things would hold is just right here anyways. So I need to still take pictures and put them down um, on the bottom so the kids can know what goes where and how to organize that. This here are things that I'm going to give away. Still something I need to um, fix here. Oh, my husband stopped. Okay, so here was another thing that we did. So a lot of teachers use these for storage of pens, pencils, glues, the supplies that the kids bring. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first three rows, well, mainly the first three rows. That one's going to be used for index cards. And this is going to be their mailboxes. So anytime they finish work, they're just going to put that in their mailbox. And then over here are the supplies that, um, where the supplies will be stored. And then the overflow is there. So that's it. That's the whole room. I'm going to give you a quick pan around. Hopefully I'm not making you dizzy. Oh, the tables are clean. That makes me so happy. We've been here a little since before 8, and it's already almost 4. So we're done. We're done. We're done. So when I come back on Monday, because I'm not coming back on Friday, when we come back on Monday, hopefully the air will be turned on, and um, I can just show you the last finishing touches. So oh, I love that right there. That's so perfect. And the kids can reach it and put the crowns where they go. That's wonderful. So anyways, I'll t talk back with you guys on Monday and show you uh, what I've done so far. See y'all soon.